Lucas Media. Don't forget the like button and subscribe. So Ryan Garcia did an interview with Boxing Scene, and he actually had some interesting things to say about Javante Tank Davis. Now, everybody knows that they fought earlier this year, and Ryan Garcia was stopped by a technical knockout, TKO. But this is what he had to say about Devontae Tank Davis. Davis will never fight me at 140. This guy will fight anybody, will never fight anybody at a fair thing. He just won't. He won't chance it. He really doesn't have that dog in him. He doesn't have the spear of an old school fighter, but I don't care. Garcia told boxing scene. We didn't really run. That wasn't really a fight. It was half man versus a dude that even he dropped. Even when he dropped me, he really didn't want to engage either, to be honest. Now, I will say this. Ryan Garcia did accept all Tank Davis terms and even Tank's team was surprised. Right? They had a a weight clause in there. And they had several other things that Ryan Garcia had to agree with. But Tank doesn't have any dog in him. Ryan, if I remember, it looked I'm just saying it looked it looked like when you got hit I believe in the liver. You didn't really want no more problems after that. You you got down on the knee, and when the count was ten, it just it, it looked like he just got up from a body shot, right? And then, aren't you fighting Oscar Duarte tonight at a hundred and forty three pounds? So, I mean, I and I know it's both of the habits that y'all been, but don't you want an advantage? See, there's a thing about boxers, right? Whenever they lose, they always have an excuse. Ryan did not have to take the fight. They really could have milked the fight another another two years, honestly. Ryan was a growing star. Tank Davis was a growing star. Now, again, shout out to them for fighting, but you lost. You just did. And honestly, if the roles were reversed, Ryan Garcia would definitely take advantage of Javante Tang Davis. There's always an A side and B side to boxing. And again, you didn't have to take the fight. Guess what, Ryan Garcia? Tang Davis... Took less money and he was forced to go to Australia twice and fight. And it was so bad to where Bill Haney flew over there at the last minute. They didn't even want to let him over there in Australia. And guess what? If David Haney would have lost and he had an excuse, I would say the same thing that I'm saying to you. You took the fight. See, Ryan, it's okay, man. You lost. You can come back. I'm going to see you go against Oscar Duarte. And guess what? Maybe one day you and Tank can get it on. At 140 or whatever. I mean, Leonard and um, Roberto Duran fought twice. Sugar Ray Leonard and Roberto Duran fought twice. Or three times. But the first two was in a prime. I, we don't see nothing wrong with that. It's okay. Because guess what, Ryan? If you beat him later on down the line, won't nobody say nothing. All right? He got one. You got one. Y'all even. But Ryan, he just all right, man. He just, he just mad because he lost. And he probably wasn't expecting that. But Tank hit him right on the chin. The first drop. And then the second drop was that body shot. And it, it was over. It's okay, man. Tank special. He a superstar. He a superstar boxer. You a superstar boxer. It is what it is. Just had a, had a bad night. 
But don't say Tank don't have no dog in him. Come on now. Now I got to disagree with you on that. You can't be a multiple time world champion and not have no dog in you. So that's just my quick rant about it. I'm going to post a link to the article in the chat. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Do y'all think Tank took advantage of Ryan? Or do y'all think Ryan Garcia is making excuses?